Good morning to you all. Today is the first of a new month, the first day of August. We thank God for the gift of this day, for the gift of this month. And today also we celebrate the memorial of St. Alphonsus Mary de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, and also the founder of the Redemptorist. As we celebrate this memorial, we pray for ourselves and for all those in the religious order that will continue to remain faithful to the vows. And I pray also for the intentions of Sister Ife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As we prepare heart and mind to offer these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and beg God to forgive us and so make us worthy to stand in this holy place. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us all our sins and lead all of us to eternal life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the Bishop St. Alphonsus in his zeal for souls as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. At the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azur, a Gibonanite, spoke as follows to Je Jeremiah in the temple of the Lord in the presence of the priest and all the people. The Lord, the God of Israel, says this, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. In two years' time, I will bring back all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, carried off from this place and took to Babylon. And I will also bring back Jeconian, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who have gone to Babylon. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, I am going to break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah then replied to the prophet Hananiah, in front of the priest and all the people there in the temple of the Lord. I hope so, the prophet Jeremiah said. May the Lord do so. May he fulfill the words that you have prophesied and bring the vessels of the temple of the Lord and all the exiles back to this place from Babylon. Listen carefully, however, to this word I am now going to say 
for you and all the people to hear. From remote times, the prophets who preceded you and me prophesied war, famine, and plague for many countries and for great kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace can only be recognized as one truly sent by the Lord when this word comes true. The prophet Hananiah then took the yoke off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it. In front of all the people, Hananiah then said, The Lord says this, This is how, two years hence, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and take it off the necks of all the nations. At this, the prophet Jeremiah went away. After the prophet Ananiah had broken the yoke, which he had taken off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord was addressed to Jeremiah. Go to Hananiah and tell him this. The Lord says this. You can break wooden yokes. Right, I will make them iron yokes instead. For the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, says this. An iron yoke is what I now lay on the necks of all these nations to subject them to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. They will be subject to him. I have even given him the wild animals. The prophet Jeremiah said to the prophet Hananiah, Listen carefully, Hananiah. The Lord has not sent you. And thanks to you, these people are now relying on what is false. Hence, the Lord says this, I am going to throw you off the face of the earth. You are going to die this year, since you have preached apostasy from the Lord. The prophet Ananiah died the same year, in the seventh month. The word of the Lord. Lord, teach me your statutes. Keep me from the way of error and teach me your law. Do not take the word of truth from my mouth, for I trust in your decrees. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let your faithful turn to me, those who know you, your, those who know your will. Let my heart be blameless in your statutes, lest I be ashamed. Lord, teach me your statutes. Though the wicked lie in wait to destroy me, yet I ponder on your will. I have not turned away from your decrees. You yourself have taught me. Lord, teach me your statutes. Shall we all stand to greet the gospel? Alleluia. The truth and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus received the news of John the Baptist's death, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the people heard of this, and leaving the towns, went after him on foot. So as he stepped ashore, 
he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the time has slipped by. So send the people away, and they can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, There is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, All we have with us is five loaves and two fish. Bring them here to me, he said. He gave others that the people were to sit down on the grass. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven, and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples, who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted, and they collected the scraps remaining, twelve baskets full. Those who ate numbered about five thousand men, to say nothing of women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Whenever in the gospel we encounter Jesus Christ blessing bread and giving to the crowd, feeding them, reminds us of the Holy Eucharist that the Lord invites us and then feeds us with his flesh. And so as we begin this new month, we ask him that the Lord himself will nourish us through his word and then through the sacrament that we will be always nourished and sustained by the Lord and not become more nourished because of our absence from the Holy Eucharist. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Alphonsus Mary de Liguori. He came from a big family and he was a very intelligent young man. He had doctorates in civil law and then canon law and had interests in in poetry, in the arts, and in creativity and all. Already at the age of 30, when he decided to be a priest against the family wishes, he was ordained. And as a priest, he sought to attend to the needs of the poor in his neighborhood. The concerns of the poor was his concern. Even to the extent that he even formed a congregation to attend to the needs of the poor, the redemptorists, to care for the poor, to feed them, both with material needs and spiritual needs. And so he formed evening chapels that he gathered them, taught them, and then fed them. He was eventually made a bishop, but which later on he resigned because of ill health to go back to his community. And we remember him for his writings, especially for his contribution towards moral theology. In the seminary, he designed a whole syllabus on how to teach moral theology. And as you remember him, we pray that we also have the zeal he had to attend to the needs of the people around him. So let the concerns of those around us be our concern and then seek to help those who are in need. As we celebrate his memorial, today also we are privileged to reflect on the prophet Jeremiah again. And today we read from chapter 28. We heard of two main prophets, Hananiah and Jeremiah. Hananiah, God had not sent him. He had not received any prophecy from God. But he went and told the people, told the priests, told Jeremiah, in the presence of everyone in the temple area, 
that God says that in two years time, he will bring back the exiles. He will bring peace. That all the vessels King Nebuchadnezzar looted from the temple will be brought back. False hope. Deceit. God has not sent him. But he went to lie to the people. And the people loved it because they were, everybody was looking for peace. But this was a man who was not sent by God. And so the prophet Jeremiah will be sent to go to him and then to tell him. He says that, why do you deceive the people? And because you have deceived them, you will die. And we told that in the same year, the prophet Hananiah died. Deception. These days in, uh, in our Christian life, especially in modern day Christianity, we still have a lot of false prophets who are preaching what the people want to hear. Prosperity message. We want prophecies that will edify us. And so we find Catholics who having come to church, then will go to these false prophets to go and listen to something which will suit them. We need to be careful of false prophecy. We need to be careful. We should not be chasing after prophets who tell us what we want to hear. When somebody's life is not going on well, it's almost like going to a soothsayer. They go to a prophet who will say that, oh, you are not doing well because somebody in your family is behind your, all your failures. And as a result, we also hate the people. We need to be careful of false prophets. We shouldn't be saying things which are not from God to the people. We should only relate what God has given to them. And so the prophet Jeremiah gave the message to Hananiah. Because God has not sent you, and because you have deceived the people, God says that you shall die. These days again, people want to hear things that they want to hear. But let us hear what God wants us to hear through his word. And may we not be chasing after false prophets and be listening to things that we think is from God. But listen to God alone in his word and the holy scriptures. And again, as we celebrate this memorial and we are presented with this reading, we pray that our life will not be a life of deceit, but a life of truthfulness, sincerity, a life of true love and concern for those who are in need. We pray in this Mass for strength and for the grace to persevere as Christians and also to be channels of God's truthfulness wherever we go. May God nourish us with his word and nourish us with the Holy Eucharist that will be sustained by him throughout this month and that will be nourished in his sight all the days of our life. Shall we please stand and pray? We pray thanking God for the gift of a new month, for the gift of a new day. We thank God for his blessings, and we thank God even for the struggles we went through. And we pray that God will continue to strengthen us and sustain us and nourish us with his word and with the sacraments. Lord, in your mercy. We pray that as we celebrate the feast of St. Alphonsus Mary de Liguori, we pray for all redemptors that God will continue to grant them the grace to persevere in their mission and vocation. And we pray for all of us here in gathered that the concerns of our neighbors and our friends and our family will be our concerns and that we'll care 
for the poor and the needy. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the intention of this Mass, for the intentions of Sister Ife. And we pray for all who have asked us to pray for them. We pray for baby Abraham who will be buried today. And we pray for all those who are going through difficulties that God will continue to strengthen them and sustain them in their difficult moments. Lord, in your mercy. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray presenting all the other intentions to our Heavenly Father. We make all our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, which become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it become for us spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your Spirit, just as you granted St. Alphonsus that we should celebrate these mysteries and by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your heart. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Jesus. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Alphonsus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Alan, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. We pray for Father John King and baby Abraham. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into the but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. With joy, let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you all invited to his supper. The body of Christ keep all of us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are ready there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, who gave us St. Alphonsus to be a faithful steward and preacher of this great mystery, grant that your faithful may receive it often, and receiving it, praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let it go in peace. Our Mass is ended. Amen.